In this tutorial we're going to look at streamlining your drum parts by using a technique known as linear drumming. In fast running styles such as drum and bass, the beats can end up with so much going on that the hits don't stand out as much as you'd like. In cases such as these one technique that can help is linear drumming, an approach invented and used by real drummers. It's where no two drum sounds are played on top of each other. Instead you end up with a flowing sequence of single hits as if you'd engaged a monophonic mode on your drum kit. To illustrate this we have here a one bar drum and bass style pattern in Cubase made up of three audio tracks, kick, snare and hi-hat. You can find these files in the tutorial files folder. Our hi-hat loop is playing a 16th note pattern that's quite busy at this tempo. So to break things up a bit, first slice the loop up into single hi-hat beats, either with your door scissors tool, or alternatively by using your door's transient detection and slicing features if it has them. Do the same thing with the snare and the kick as well. So the individual beats can now be muted or moved around at will. Start by removing any hi-hat that coincides with a main kick or snare beat. Then gradually weed out any other hits that coincide with some of the quieter ghost snare beats. Alternatively, you can also delete kick and snare beats to further simplify things. Here we'll take out the second kick drum beat. The aim is to get just one sound happening at any one beat, for a flowing groove in which all of the elements can be clearly discerned. If more than one sound needs to be removed from a beat, just try out various combinations to decide which one should take priority. You could always also go for a halfway approach, reducing the volume of low priority hits instead of deleting them completely. 